Hey everybody, I'm Maria and welcome to another review video on the Best Buy Canada blog. Today I'm going to be showing you the Polaroid Now Instant Camera. When it comes to photography, we're a little bit spoiled these days, aren't we? Almost every tech device we have has a high-res camera built right in, so we're free to take pictures, edit, delete, retake them as often as we want. But isn't there something a little bit magical about holding your own 100% unique photo right in your hand? It's pretty special. That's where the Polaroid now comes in. Just like the old school Polaroids that it's modeled after, this camera will instantly print a photo on a piece of film so that you can have it in your hands within seconds. It's pretty cool. But as magical as that is, there are a few caveats that come with the Polaroid now. So let's get right into it. A big pro of the Polaroid now is that it's really easy to set up and use. You just press this button on the side to open it up, and then you'd slide this film pack in, close it back up again, and this protective dark slide should automatically eject, and then you just take that away and you're ready to start shooting. It's really that easy. To take a photo, simply point the camera at your subject and press this big red button right here. As you can see, it instantly ejects your photo covered by this protective dark film shield. The film shield is there to protect your photo from the light to help it develop properly. For some Polaroids, you're supposed to shake the photo or hold it up to a light source to help it develop, but you don't want to do that with these. I actually re recommend letting it sit under the film shield for at least a few minutes for the best results. Or if you want to take another photo right away, you can always place it face down on a table, preferably somewhere dark for a couple minutes. For some tips and tricks, the Polaroid now works best when it has a lot of light to work with. A good idea is to use it outdoors in the sunshine, or if you are using it indoors, make sure to do it in a well-lit room. It's also a good idea to have your subject stand against a wall or backdrop so that the flash has something to bounce off of and it's probably a good idea to be fairly close to your subject. So what do you get when you have good lighting, a backdrop to work with, and are fairly close to your subject? Well, you get a photo with this kind of cool, retro, 70s kind of vibe to it. As you can see, it turned out still a little bit dark. It might have been better if I was wearing a brighter color, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this selfie. The Polaroid Now also has a lot of features, but the one that really stands out is the double exposure feature. This allows you to superimpose two images on the same piece of film. Now, it did take me a few failed attempts before I got one that worked, but once I did, I got this really cool photo of a building superimposed against a tree. If you're a little more creative than me, I'm sure you could think of a ton of different ways to superimpose images against each other to create some really cool effects and some really beautiful artistic photos. Alright, so we covered most of the pros. Now let's look at some of the cons. One major con of the Polaroid now is one that you're going to have with any instant camera, and that's the need for a physical film. When you're using physical film, that means that every single photo you take comes with a price attached to it. So you're going to want to be really selective about the photos you take so that you make sure you're not wasting money on subpar photos. When it comes to instant photography, you don't get any do-overs and there's only so many photos to a pack. So you're going to want to be really careful about what you choose to shoot. And for me, when I was using it, it really put the pressure on to make sure that I got the most out of every single shot I had, and that made it all the more disappointing when one just didn't work out. Another caveat is that with the retro style does come retro quality. You're just not going to get the same crisp, clean image or true-to-life colors as you would with a modern high-res camera. But at the same time, I don't think that's the point of the Polaroid now. I think the point is the art you can make and the memories you can share. There's something really beautiful and artistic about these old style photos. And it's just so much more personal to be able to slip a physical photo into a greeting card or write a special message for someone you love. 
I can see someone decorating their room with these photos or maybe creating some Christmas tree ornaments with a new photo for every year. There are a lot of possibilities. I don't think everyone would find a place for the Polaroid now in their life, but if you're interested in old school photography or want to create unique keepsakes, or if you're just looking for new ways to explore art, this is a pretty fun little gadget with a little bit of that retro magic inside. So that's my review on the Polaroid Now Instant Camera. I go into a lot more detail in my article on the Best Buy Canada blog, so check that out if you want to learn more. I'm by no means an expert photographer, but it does contain a lot more of the photos I took with it if you want to see how they turned out. So let me know what you think of this camera and the photos I took, and thanks for watching!